All right, hello, AP Computer Science class. Uh, today, Friday, is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm actually going to have you do two free response questions, which will simulate what the actual test date is like, right? Where if it's Friday, May 8th, we are one day, sorry, one week out from the test. And so I want to just simulate as best I can what the test is going to be like. Um, it is going to be different than the other days this week. One thing that's different is the questions are not in uh, the AP site this time. These are a special question they just came out with. Um, literally, I'm trying to scramble and change the directions here because it just came out with them. But um, So it's going to be different. So you're just going to do it, uh, load up this PDF here, right, that has the questions. There'll be two of them, and you're going to do both of them today. And you can do it however you are planning to do it on the AP test, right? So if you're planning to do this uh, um, by writing them out by hand, right, you can load them up. The first one is about gizmos here, right? So you could actually write out the code. And if you were to do that, you don't have to write out, obviously, this gizmo class. Once you read through this, this will make sense. But the gizmo class, you don't have to do any code there. It's just uh, an object that uh, is a little thing that is sold. And they have the maker of the object. And then is it electronic? And then an equals method to see if it equals another gizmo or not. And they don't even tell you how that works. but. Maybe they do later in the question. I can't remember, to be honest. But your code will have to go here. right? So if you're writing it out by hand, again, you don't have to write out this full class. My guess is you just write out this method heading and then add your code for part A. Write out your method heading for B, add the code here. Um, and that would be that would be it. All right? I think there's a part C where you actually have to write out like a little bit of a paragraph thing. So when you get to this part, you just write a little paragraph on your notebook paper um, and then be done. All right? If you are actually planning on typing out your code, um, again, you don't need to do anything with the gizmo class. right? Nothing with that because there's nothing to type in there. But then for this online purchase manager, that's where your code would go. So um, again, you can just type out just the method heading um, in, in Eclipse or uh, in WordPad and then type your answer in that um, or you can try I'm not sure if this will work on the actual AP test or not but you can try selecting all the the code here and then pasting it into Eclipse and um, then adding the methods that way again knowing that if you go that route you might get compile errors um, especially because in this case right we're not gonna actually bring in this gizmo class right we're not actually gonna put that in there because it'd be a waste of time. Um, so you'll you'll get compile errors, but you could still use Eclipse if you like typing in that. All right, so here's what happened when I pasted it in Eclipse. Um, it honestly looks kind of messy, but if you hit Control A to select everything, then you can do source and correct indentation, and that'll clean it up a little bit. So it's not doesn't look too bad now. Um, obviously, I've got some errors with Gizmo and stuff, but no big deal. And then I would just come down here to Part A and actually implement my code right there. right? And then when I paste it back in to turn it in for the AP test, I would just need to turn in this method or maybe even just the guts of this method. Um, just paste that part back in. All right, and then Part B, same thing down there. Um, if you want to do it in WordPad, you can paste it in. And it actually looks pretty good in WordPad when I pasted it in there. And then you just have to go to part A again, and then type your code in there. And it won't tab and fancy everything like Eclipse will, but again, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can just type it in there, type your response right in there, and then um, paste the code back. All right, um, I'm gonna have you turn both of these problems in. So this is the, the uh, gizmo one that I was doing here. Uh, you have parts A, B, C. And then there's a second problem in here, a second one uh, that's called check digit. And I think there's an A, B, and C part of this one too. All right, so I'm going to have you turn those in just like you would on the AP test, um, except you're going to turn them into me. Uh, so you probably the easiest way is just going to be to email me. So if you wrote them out, you can take a picture of what you wrote out and email them to me. If you type them out, you could save the files and upload them to me, much like you could on the AP test. Or you could just take your answers, um, copy and paste them into an email, and send them to me that way. 
All right. Um, this one, again, you can't submit on the AP site. They don't have it in there, but I'm going to have you do it one of the three ways on the AP test and then turn it into me. This is one that I'm, I'm going to, uh, to grade. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to grade it super rough on accuracy, but it is going to go grade in the grade book that you give this a shot. Um, and then I'll be able to give you feedback on it um, in the form of uh, actually I'll have solution videos uh, up um, later. Yeah, and actually I'll probably put them up right away. So if you want to look at those, um, you can just um, look at them after trying these, right? Uh, you know, more than the grade matters here, you understanding these, these are probably the best two they're going to have for the AP test. Um, they just came out with them. And they are a little bit different because they have like a part C where you have to write stuff out, which is is rare. But I think it's something that definitely they'll probably do this year just because that's something you can't Google very easily. Right. So they, I think they talk about it right here, um, but it's the best way I can give you to prepare for the questions this year. And so take these part C's seriously in here. Um, we have to write out uh, the different parts. All right, so um, that is it. I uh, can't remember if there's part C for all of them. It might be just part C for the first one. You have to write something out. Oh, no, part B is here. Okay, so on the second one, there's just A and B. And then in part B, you don't have to do any code. You have to write out how you would change this check digit. All right, so that's what I want you to practice. Um, hopefully, all those directions make sense. Again, you can turn it in any of the three ways. And you're doing both problems today. If you have uh, any questions about it, um, please just reach out and email me. All right, uh, that is it. Good luck, and uh, take this one seriously because it'll it'll help for the test.